Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha and in today's video I wanted to come on and do a weigh-in for you guys. April goals, a little bit of reflection on March and what I'm doing to go forward. So first let's just talk about how March went really quick. In a simple word it went horrible. Uh, number one, it was a lot going on with my personal life. Um, I had vacation, um, co-parenting going. It was just like a lot going on in March. I'm happy it's, uh, yo, March felt like it was so long. I'm so happy March is over. I'm feeling a lot better. As you guys know, um, what you guys probably don't know, uh, my menstrual comes at the end of the, at the beginning of the month, but I have really bad, severe PMS symptoms at the end of the month. So that's really something that I'm trying to work on um, for the rest of my life, basically, and try to tweak those things a little bit. If you guys haven't seen my latest video, I get a little bit more in depth about it. But overall, March was horrible. Um, and we're just going to move forward. We're not going to, I talked about it, literally took a minute, and now we are moving forward. So yesterday, I weighed myself and between this week because today is Friday so from Sunday until today I've been ranging between like 230 in the 230s the highest I've seen was 235 I have just been eating crap this whole week and yesterday it finally clicked I put up some posts really being uh, very genuine I don't really talk about my weight much on Instagram and I finally did and I don't know I just felt so much better so much more motivated and I'm just ready to start April with a bang like I have some really 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 I have some really 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 big goals I don't know what I, was, I think I was trying to say moves I have some really 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 big goals for myself coming into April so first let's just talk about uh, my goals number one I want to lose or I want to get to 224. I have never, that's the low, the lowest I've ever been is 225. So I want to get between 220, 223 to 224, as close as possible to 219. As I said, I weighed in yesterday at 235. And today I am weighing in at 231.2. So as you guys can see, with my menstrual actually coming, which is tomorrow, me being bloated, me being eat, eating a whole bunch of snacks. However, being consistent for literally one day, just one day out of the whole week, I was so consistent. Yesterday I worked out, had a really good workout. I ate really well. I didn't snack after like six o'clock. I did so well. I was so proud of myself. I drank so much water. Oh my God. I was really good yesterday. And just with a combination of being bloated, eating the right things, a lot of the weight, water weight just went away. Like three pounds just went away. So I'm happy to report. I'm very happy to report that today I am 231.2. And then, like I said, the next two to four pounds are just going to go off like that because I usually range in between 225 to 226. So within this next week, mixed with my menstrual, I'm going. It's, it's going to lose really fast. So I'm really trying to maintain and get down to 223 to 224 this month. That is goal. I also, ooh, I made an investment move. You guys know I work out um, every single day, Monday through Friday. That is a goal. Monday. To Friday, I want to work out. The weekends, I don't work out. So that that is what I'm sticking to. Um, I think, did I write some goals down? I know I wrote down my grocery list and what I want to do. Okay, so I wrote eating 1,400 calories, burning at least 700 calories, and gym Monday to Friday. And then I told you guys my weight loss goal. Also, starting to write down everything Again, meaning I want to juice from Friday until Monday, just breakfast. Um, so three days and then I can do it for lunch if I want to. But dinner, I'm going to have a meal. I wrote down my meal ideas. So I said um, chicken salad, chicken and shrimp stir fry. Make sure that I buy stuff for my breakfast tacos, chicken parm with salad and then my taco salad. So a whole bunch of salads because I want to get a whole bunch of greens in. And then I wrote down, you know, just things that I want to get. But 
I made an investment move and I bought some beets. I'm so happy I did. They were about $200 and I absolutely love them. I'm very old school when it comes to like everything. I'm always late to any trend. Um, my brother was like, get um, ear pods or bass, boss, boss headphones. But I really do like these so far. Um, they come in like this super, I'll open it real quick. Like they come in this huge box, but it's like so small. Um, not so small, but they're pretty little. Like you can just throw them in your bag, whatever bag you bring. You don't have to, I just have them in all of this. But anyway, so I'm very happy about those. That really got me motivated to go to the gym. Um, you guys know when you buy new clothes or just something new, I don't care if it's like a waist trainer, whatever gets you motivated. This really got me motivated to, um, I don't know, just to jam out. So very excited for that. Very excited for my goals. Um, I'm just feeling really good. Like I said, before my menstrual comes, I am horrible. Like I have such a bad attitude. I'm crying, I'm eating everything. And now my menstrual is about to come tomorrow and I, I feel fine. Like I feel great again. So it's really crazy um, how my body works, but got to work with it. Got to not against it. So um, that's just where I'm at, what I'm doing. If you guys are on a weight loss journey, please, please comment below and let me know how you guys are doing, where you guys are at. Um, what's your motivational tool to get you pushing or what keeps you motivated? What are your goals for April? Let's communicate down in the comment section. You guys know I always comment to you guys back and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.